Hey guys, welcome to Fitness with Diva. This is a 38-minute re-energized workout geared to replenish you with calming and soothing energies. It is low impact and yoga flow inspired. Great session to work on your core, balance and flexibility. Be mindful of your form and alignment at all times and feel free to adapt and or modify the exercises to your fitness level and needs. There is no equipment required, but I do recommend a fitness mat. This being said, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, browse on my channel to check out my other videos and subscribe if you wish to see more. Enjoy! We're going to start with our feet together, hip width apart and just a few inhale in and exhale out, fan up, inhale, take it all the way up and fan out, exhale, nice and slow, regenerate. Re-energize, inhale from your nose, reach up, fan out, exhale from the mouth, give me two more, with a deep chair pose, toes facing forward, and align the knees with your toes as you bend. Give me a head roll to the right, nice and slow. Explore every corner all the way back. Connect your ear to your shoulder. Same thing on the other side. Chin all the way up. Shoulder to ear. Chin down, look down. And look up. We're moving very slow here. It's all about recalibrating the balance. Tilt your head right and left. Re-energize. One more. Good job. Keep your shoulders down. And look to the side. Full twist. Explore full range in motion. Look at the time, feel the opposition between your chin, your shoulders and your hips. Last one, to the left, give me shoulder rolls to the back, four, three, beautiful, last one, and reverse, roll forward, four, three, Two, and last one, full chair pose, hinge backwards at the hip, and take it up nice and slow, control your movement, keep the resistance in, and take it out, tailbone back, and bring it up, yeah, see how I'm never fully Coming back up, keep the resistance and as low as it gets, as low as you go, full range in motion. Last one, beautiful and up, take your time, we're going to go for a side reach to the right all the way down, side, overhead and make sure to keep your shoulders open. and slow, reach down, overhead, and wow, felt so good already, one more on each side, inhale, exhale, take the time, beautiful, last one, chest opener inhale in push your shoulder blade exhale out round your back tilt your pelvis in exhale give me two more inhale exhale 
last one push the chest out and exhale one more time chair pose beautiful a little bit faster this time and two more last one side reach we're linking it all up together and down up over to the side and what a beautiful flow Chest opener. Inhale from the nose. Exhale from the mouth. Two more. Beautiful. Feet a little bit wider open. We're going to go for side lunges. Nice and easy. Toes facing forward, align the knee with the ankle. Hips backward, chest up, core tight. Take the time, just give me a few more. Explore the capabilities of your body, how far it goes. Give me the last two right here. And bring it back on the right side and hold. Feel the stretch and the resistance both working at the same time. Switch it up to the other side and beautiful. Take it in, feet together, and you're gonna open. Rotate and cross. My hands are flexed. Fingers looking up. Push with the palm of your hand. You gotta feel it right here by the armpit. And try to keep your hips as straight as you can. Feel the opposition in the rotation. Nice, beautiful. Yes, last one, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, we're moving on to sun salutation. In the back of your mat. Inhale in, feet together. Table top, reach forward. Take the time right here in this position, making sure that your tailbone is all the way out, but not curved. Core is engaged. Shoulders aligned with the hips. Hands pushing forward, and so is the top of your head. If it's shaky, it's okay. Inhale, exhale, bring it down, round your back, relax your chin, relax your head, relax your shoulders, let them hang, the upper body is now nice and heavy. You're going to shift your body weight forward on your toes and rock it backwards on your heels. Give me two more times just like that. Feel where the stretch is happening each and every time you rock it back and forth. Allow the fold to come further, lower and closer. Last inhale. 
bend the knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. What a beautiful massage for your spine. Oh yes, revitalize, re-energize. We're gonna do the same thing and then we're gonna get back on the floor. We're gonna stay on the floor after that one. Inhale, take it all up and reach forward, tabletop. Explore that position just for a second. Take the time to properly align. Inhale and exhale out. Beautiful. Rock your body forward and backwards. Wow. On your toes and on your heels. You're gonna bend the right leg. Keep the right hand on the floor and open up. Shoulders on the opposite side. Beautiful, look up. Take it down, bend both knees and switch it over. Feel the twist in your shoulders. Hold it. Four, three, two. Bring it down. Beautiful. Walk with your hands out into a plank. High plank. Beautiful. Readjust your feet. Push your body weight forward. Core engaged. Shoulder blades away one from the other and just hold it just for a second this is still a workout drop the knees on the floor elbows back bring yourselves down slowly slide forward into an upward dog Inhale, look up. Shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, realign. Chin down. Curl up your toes. Push the tailbone up. Into a downward dog. Beautiful. Push with your hands. Get your torso closer to your legs. Tailbone up. Enjoy that stretch. Yes. And walk back into a plank. Shoulders away from your ears, slightly round back. Make sure to keep your pelvis, your pelvis slightly tilted in, just neutral, not out. Feel the difference right here. Drop the knees, we're starting to shake. Slow down, push forward, upward dog. We're starting to sweat. Curl up your toes. Downward dog, beautiful. Push. Little gentle pulses right here. Torso closer to your thighs. Tailbone out, hips relaxed, muscles released. Give me the last two right here. And back into a plank. You're gonna bring a low lunge on your right leg. Make sure that you align 
when you step your foot forward that you align your knee with your ankle at a 90 degree ankle angle your toes are facing forward the opposite heel is pushing towards the back of the room hands on the inside beautiful stretch for the hips wow We're gonna drop the knee. And lift the upper body. And keep on pushing forward. Wow. Hold that stretch. Hips are always getting very, very tight. And we're gonna switch it over to the other side. Bring the left leg in, hands on the inside. Just hold it. Think of your placement, think of your form, think of your alignment. Drop the knee, release the tension in the hip. Breathe through every stretch. Hands on your thighs. Push your upper body away. Shoulders away from your ears. Core engaged. Try to align your shoulders with your hips. Take it down. Hands back on the floor. Come up, back into a plank. We're gonna alternate low lunges just for eight counts here. This is one, take it nice and low. Switch it over. This is two, nice and low. Push the heels all the way down. And we get three, take your time. Four. We're halfway through. Three. Last two. And last one. We're gonna hold this last one. We're gonna go into a warrior one. You're gonna come up right here. Up. down inhale keep the resistance in and down keep the body weight nicely aligned spread evenly on both legs inhale warrior one up gonna come slightly up you're gonna rotate your shoulders open and drop the back leg heel you tilt it inwards this is a warrior two same thing up inhale exhale down inhale remember that this is always at your own level We all have very different levels of flexibility. Inhale, exhale, and that's okay. You're gonna reach for the floor now. And look up. Come back to warrior two. Keep it nice and low, and three more reaches.
back into a warrior one position. Nice and low, hands on the inside and switch it over to the other leg. leg, exhale down, inhale, exhale down, I don't know if this was three or four, but just to make sure I'm going to do another one, inhale, exhale, open up a warrior two, slightly come up first, hands up, rotate to the side, Beautiful. Inhale up. And push down as low as you go. Explore your full range in motion. Inhale. Exhale down. We got two more just like that. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, that was the last one. We're gonna go for floor reaches now. Wow. Yes, nice and slow. We got three more. Beautiful energy is coming in. Negative energies getting out. Replenish. Come back into a warrior one. Hands on the floor. And back into a plank. Hold it. Readjust your position. Align your shoulders with your ankles. You know the pelvis tilted. Drop the knees. Beautiful. And into an upward dog again. Oh, it is a beautiful, it's a great position to really open up your chest. Breathe all the new in. And exhale all the hold. All the old out. Give me two more breaths here. Feel the ribs expanding as you exhale, as you inhale in and the ribs collapsing as you exhale out. Curl the toes. Downward dog. We're going to join our feet together for this one. You're going to keep one leg in, aligned with the center of your body. And the other leg is slowly going to come up. Your heel is up. Your toes are facing down. Your shoulders and your hips are facing the mat. You go as far as you can without rotating until you realize that you can't anymore. Your shoulders are going to stay looking at the floor and you allow your hips to open to the side. It expands your, raising, your range in motion. To further the stretch, drop the lower leg down. At your own level, always remember. I was not always there. Practice makes perfect. Does it? We don't always need to be perfect. We are our own perfect. That's the beauty. Extend and slowly take it back down. Toes facing down at the floor into a downward dog again. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You feel the difference between the difference between both of your hips? 
Slowly on the other side, guys. Take your time, explore your shoulders, the position in the alignment of your hips. I can't go any further here. It's time to open up. Let it free, set it free. Hold. You can just give gentle pulses, but really, really gentle pulses if you think that you can take it further. Time to release the lower leg. Bring the chin and the head in between your arms, past your shoulders if you can. Extend it back up. Take it down. Rotate it back in. Into a downward dog again. And curl your toes, come back into a plank. Drop the knees. Take it down. Slide forward, beautiful. Push on your hands, bring your hips to your heels into a child's pose. Relax your arms, your forehead is on the floor. Beautiful. Breathe in. And breathe out. We're gonna do a few more stretches before the end of this revitalized, re-energized session. And slide your hands down to your knee level. Push yourselves up away from the floor. Stay sitting on your heels slowly. Uncurl, unfold every vertebrae one at a time. Your head always comes in last. This is a time to be gentle with yourself. And we're gonna sit right here, extend your feet right in front of you. These are not extreme stretches. They are not for your joints. They are for your articulations and your muscles. So we really don't want to have the knees fully extended, fully flexed. That's not what we're looking for here. You can have your feet flexed, your toes towards you, but the knees slightly bent and it works so much better. This is an extra extended spine. This is a lazy spine, an extra curved spine. It's not lazy. And this one is your neutral alignment. Right here, beautiful. That's the one we're looking for here. Reach up high. Inhale and reach for your toes. It's not about how low you get, but more how far you go. Feel the fold right here at the hip. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Your neck is nice and long and aligned. Chin down, you look right in between your feet. Beautiful. And as you pull your toes towards you, you bring the chest up. Just hold it a tiny bit longer before we release. Four, three, two, one release, one hand at a time. Release the toes and allow your upper body to get a little lower and a little closer to your toes. Chin down, curve your back this time. As always, I always feel the tension on my neck right here. With every movement that we do on a daily um, living activities, the neck always gets very, very stiff. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. You're gonna slide your hands back towards your hips, fingers looking out. You're gonna push yourselves away. You're gonna push your hips towards your heels, beautiful. You're gonna unfold into a reverse sitting plank. 
and slowly get on the floor. Wow. Great. Knees to your chest. Enjoy that stretch. That's a nice one. You're gonna release one leg, right or left, it's entirely up to you. We do the same work on both sides. Feel your position in your hips right here. If you want to expand that stretch, you can open up the knee to the side and get the knee closer to the armpit. Take your time with every stretch. Beautiful. In and switch. Other side. Once you've placed your knee, you extend the opposite leg. Make sure not to cramp up your neck like this. Always keep it nice and neutral what feels natural to you and open it up if you want to expand the stretch beautiful take it back in this one is entirely optional you have the choice to either stay in a bold position right here or if you want, you can roll with your feet over your head. Gently. Realign. Realign. Whew. <laughs> this is the ultimate spine stretch. Stand on your toes. Push your heels towards whatever part of the room that is <laughs> to me it's looking at the windows make sure that both of your shoulders are on the floor release the knees even it's not really how far your feet go really it's how high on your shoulders you can stand take it easy with that stretch really one centimeter at a time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Carefully unfold one vertebrae at a time. Keep your knees close to your chest. Oof. Roll just like a ball. Replace your feet and reconnect with the floor. Feel the supporting point on your yoga mat. These are your hips, your feet, your shoulders, your elbows, your hands. Observe which part is touching the floor and which part is not. You should have a natural curve right here by your neck and another one by your lower back. We're gonna tilt the pelvis in and we're gonna fill in the gap right here. We're gonna push on our feet and we're gonna bring the hips up in a hip bridge or in a hip thrust. And hold for a little 10 seconds. Beautiful. Your core is engaged. Your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings. Everything is at work. Four, three, two, and unfold down. Good job. You're gonna go. You're gonna roll on the side, right or left. We're going into an all four position right here. 
I'm going to turn around so that you can see the reflection in the mirror and get the right alignment. One last stretch for the spine here, we call it the camel and the cat or the cow and the cat. I'm always confused between these two. You round your back, chin in, pelvis tilted all the way in. That's your inhale, exhale, tailbone out. Connect with the top of your head. That's your exhale. Give me two more just like that, slow. Inhale. As far as you go, remember guys, full range in motion here. This is a safe environment. This is a time where you can really explore the capabilities of your body. And that's the last one. And curl up your toes one more time. Get into one last downward dog. Walk your feet back towards your legs, back towards your hands, <laughs> and slowly bend the knees and roll up. Beautiful. Facing forward this time. Inhale in, exhale out, last one, feet together, that's the last one that is for gratitude, this one, inhale in, you got to seal it together, exhale out, and just take a moment to say thank you. I hope that you really did enjoy this. Just revitalize and re-energize. I wish you guys an amazing day and I will see you very soon.